You can come up here. Oh. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and put the hook on the rear axle. And there's a couple things that you're going to need. You're going to need this piece of wire that came in your kit. You're also going to need some snips. And you're going to need a little bit of super glue. So, so far, you should have your car together with your front and rear wheels attached. The hook is actually going to go right here on the back of the car, on this rear axle. And what I do is put the hook a little bit over to this side. It's going to be, it's really hard to see when it's on the car. So what I've done is I have a rear axle right here that I can show you how to do it on. Now you're not going to need the whole piece of wire. You're only going to need like maybe not even half of it. So I'm just going to snip a little piece off of here like this. And what I do is I'm going to wrap this around here twice. So there's one and two times. You could probably even do three. That's just going to help hold the super glue. So I know my fingers are in the way, but hopefully you can see that right there. I just wrap this around a couple of times. Now I need to twist this on here like a twist tie. But I want it to be kind of tight. So as I twist it I can do this or I can grab a pair of pliers the pliers and if I grab these pliers I can kinda get a little close to the axle and twist it so it's tight now if you can make it nice and uniform and even like that that's great I don't need it this long because I only need enough for the string on the loop to be able to hook onto here. So I can snip part of it off like this. Okay. Oops. Snip a little piece off. And that's what it should look like when it's all done. Now I don't want it to be able to spin around the axle. It's got to be stationary. So that's where I'm going to use a little bit of super glue. I have something here so the super glue doesn't get on my desk. But all you really need to do is put like one drop of super glue on there, kind of mush it in there a little bit with the tip. Okay, and so you just have a little bit of super glue on there. And because the super glue is just exposed, it's going to take a couple of minutes to dry. So you probably want to give it about five minutes to dry. The only thing that you don't see on here are the straws. You want to make sure that none of the super glue gets on the straw and that your hook doesn't get glued to your straw because that'll just stop your wheels from spinning so that's the only thing that you need to be careful of but at the end this is what it should look like and then your string will hook right on